Twin Cities Live. According to MobileCuisine.com, Americans eat more than 10 billion bowls of soup in a year. Per, I had one already today. Per person. Oh <laughs> there are plenty of kinds of soups to choose from. Yeah, over 200 varieties of soup in here to share with us. One of the beefiest. <laughs> we have Kelly Schmidt from the Minnesota Beef Council. Uh, beefy harvest soup. We were applauding you last night as we were looking ahead of this segment because we like it when somebody works the word beefy <laughs> into a recipe because then it's very beefy. We, we can find lots of ways to do that. We're so happy to oblige. Good. Oh, I love a pot of soup though. It's just like so comforting and it's yeah. really great to get on the table. So how do we make this one? Yeah, so this one's really good. This this one starts, it, it, this one's a simple one. It's with ground beef. Good. Okay, so that's kind of the base of what we're, we're working with here. Yeah. And this isn't one of your all day soups. It's one you could go ahead and make after work if you wanted a good meal for oh, the evening. Oh, so that's, that's why we kind of chose this one too and it's perfect for the changing seasons of the fall like you referenced mm -hmm. you know so what we do with this one is you get the ground beef uh, uh, browned first I have this as an example yes. you know? so and, and a little hint pre-batch that you can batch that and use ground beef for different meals throughout the week and this would be a perfect way to do that yeah that's is a real have that done it too. states yep. a step makes it even quicker yeah mm -hmm. so I batch you, cooked so so really what you do is you just mix you're gonna mix a few cups of water um, with four four can four can uh, cups cans or a full container beef broth Oh, good. Okay, get that boiling. Um, and then you're going to add the noodles to it. We, you can use your choice of whatever kind of pasta you like. Whatever. Sure. This is an elbow macaroni. You can use different shapes, uh, whatever you want to do. The elbows um, are nice, though, because they're like a little bit small. I feel like it's very kid friendly. Yeah. Kids aren't intimidated by elbows. Exactly. No, That's right. Like and then you add frozen vegetables to it, um, some stewed tomatoes in a can. Ooh. And, and you're going to cook that up first and um, cook it right with the beef. Uh, you follow the directions. And then at the end, this one has a beef sausage in it to add a little like something to that. it. Yeah. That's and I brought this with, you know, the beef sausage, sometimes they, uh, it's like, you know, when you read that on a recipe, you're like, where exactly would that one be? You're not going to find this next to your beef cuts, like in the back of the grocery store. Right. This is usually next to where you'd find hot dogs and that yes. kind of and sausages and that kind of thing. And just look for it on the package, all beef sausage. I like to just cut this at an angle, um, do about four ounces to six ounces of that, add that in at the end for a couple minutes so it that's cooks through. That's a great through, idea. And you've got it. And it's a tasty okay. soup that's easy to make. I like that, that is a lot. super smart. And then you get like that smoky flavor from the sausage, right. I bet, in there. That yes. is a little extra added flavor really too. great oh I love that quoi. that looks so good okay and what a fun like family friendly easy one pot deal that's good to go yeah. now Listen, this, hello, this lasagna. makes us feel really soothed and comforted on a rainy day like today absolutely as the seasons change we're, that's why we're highlighting these recipes lasagna is always a family favorite or a favorite of a lot of folks this one's called a lazy lasagna and mm. the lazy love part it. is is we're not doing the full steps it's just as good as your traditional lasagna but you're not doing the full noodles and boiling them first and all sure. that this one's going to use a ravioli and I'll get to that in a second Ooh. but here again you start with just ground beef okay, okay. so right. and I brought the full pan is there but I got a little pan to show how easy this is to make oh this so, is fun little, Let's yeah. make so this mini, okay and so usually you're going to have a ground beef mixture um, this is just plain ground beef but you're going to mix it with marinara some water there's also going to be um, you're going to mince up some garlic salt and pepper and a little bit of nutmeg okay, okay. you're going to get that cook and follow the directions on the recipe and then you just layer it like lasagna so you start oh I sorry I got that out of order Listen. you start sorry. with the ravioli start so with the ravioli I got these in the freezer section. You can do, uh, you can do freezer or not. Mm -hmm. But these are going to take place of the noodles, and you just lay those flat. And those Great are idea. just cheese-filled ravioli. Cheese-filled ravioli is what I went with. Found but them I in the freezer you section. You could probably find like a spinach and cheese one. You could do whatever you want. Absolutely, spinach and cheese. There was about four different varieties as I looked for it. And you lay those down first. So that's what I did in this pan. Then you're going to take your marinara beef mixture, pour that pour over, that on top. and then you're going to have an Italian cheese blend just in a bag, whatever yeah. you choose. Yeah. Right? And then you sprinkle that over it. And then you're going to do one more layer just like that. Right. Okay? That's Cook so cool. it with tin foil for about 20 minutes, remove the tin foil, and then finish it out for another 20 minutes, and you got a great plate. And it it tastes and, and is just like your good old classic well, lasagna. Well, this is so good too because like the ravioli, I mean, I like those frozen ravioli just with sauce is really good, but yep. then you're when you do the beef, you're amping up the protein. Yep. Everyone's going to get like a little bit more full. They've got all that goodness in their tummies and they're set for the rest of the night. And I like that you can swap out the ravioli too. So if you wanted to just keep the bones of the recipe the same, but maybe yep. try a different ravioli the next time. Absolutely. You can mix you can. it up and it's pretty oh, simple. That's and very good. Good. Good one. Okay. There you go. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. And now we got our good old classic kind of meat and potatoes dish here. And this yeah. is a good one as we change the seasons and head into fall. A sheet pan recipe. Mm -hmm. Okay. This one actually, uh, I want to say, was was made in in a partnership with our friends at Real Food RDs, and they made this recipe with us. And, and the video of this recipe is on our website. I want to just throw that out there. Oh, okay. But what this cool. is, it's a nice simple recipe where you're you're going to cut up um, um, some baby potatoes, and then you're going to get some asparagus laid out, Yum. and you throw those in the in the oven first. 
Um, and those are just rubbed with, with some olive this. oil, yep. salt, pepper, and some gar um, garlic. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to take, the recipe actually calls for a flank steak, but what we used is actually a skirt, skirt steak. steak. Yeah. You can use a hanger steak. So that's a skirt steak. Uh, that's in your, in your steak section. You lay that down the middle, and then you actually cook that. You finish off the whole recipe, and you cook the beef with the broiler. You set the oven to broil. Oh, really? Put your rack you know, up a little bit and set it in there. Do about five minutes per side, and it comes out to a great medium rare. No way. That's what I was wondering. Oh I'm yep. like, how did you get that beautiful? Beautiful medium rare. Yep. Right. While like having that in the about oven five with minutes the other per things. side at a, at a 500 degree broil, it worked just worked great. If you wanted a little more done, just leave it in a minute, minute or two longer per sure. side. Oh gosh, I think that's absolute perfection. And then yeah. you've got like the little bites of the potatoes, mm -hmm. and then just that's put great. a little parm Sprinkle on there. Sprinkle some parmesan on the potatoes and the uh, and the and the asparagus. You got a full meal. Yeah, like these are really fun good. fact about asparagus. Oh boy, What's here that? we go. Yeah. It's a uh, it's a it's a diuretic. Yeah. And okay. so if you're looking to flush a lot of toxins, <laughs> hit up some asparagus. Get that into your diet, and now you're really flushing and operating at a high level. So Tips Kelly, I just Steve. want to warn you, like the next time we are going to be on a juice cleanse, we need to send out an email to all I of our guests. Yeah. And just, so like, I can just prepare. so you know, yeah. Steve's on a juice cleanse, so please just prepare I'm gonna yourself. Once he goes backstage during the commercial break, I'm going to club him in the knee and I'm going to take that <laughs> skirt steak and get out of here. You can help it. It's all yours. <laughs> Kelly, I, mean, I want to quiet. apologize uh, on behalf yeah. of my co-host, but thank, thank you for you all so three much. of these one pan, one pot meals. Really great. Yeah. Great. Done. Yeah. Great ideas on our website. So there's these, all these recipes are there and, and look for the video on the last one we did. Oh, that's really fun, yeah, Kelly. Thank you so much. Uh, for those recipes, you can check out TwinCitiesLive.com. There will also be a link to MN Beef Council's website, the Minnesota Beef Council's website, which is mnbeefcouncil.org. Correct. Nailed it. It's got meal plans, more information. It's all <laughs> oh over gosh. there. 16,000 beef farmers and ranchers in the state. Nobody by the works way. harder than a farmer. How about that? That's the truth.